so the miners are actually in place, aren't they? Yeah. All right. You see this miner? It's no good. It's Mark 1. We want to use Mark 2 miners. I was going to use this time to talk about place the miners and also talk about the various rates and underclocking, overclocking, and how everything is going to divide and use the planning document. However, we're using Mark 1 miners, so the numbers are a little off. But what we can do is temporarily throw in some overclockers. So you don't have to do this if you're following along. But maybe this will just help me get my numbers right so you can see what we're talking about. So 112.56 is how many parts per minute we need out of this machine. We're going to be sending that into four constructors. I know it's a little awkward. In future, we'll actually be underclocking this when it becomes a Mark II miner. That's kind of the interesting thing. A bit more of a simple one is the two iron mines here. These could be overclocked massively to do 135 parts each. They're both going to basically act like, well, they're sort of sisters. They'll be doing similar things. And as you can see, our mom research is just completed because I was trying to figure out how to talk about this for quite a while. Let's go check out what we got. All right, so we've got stitched iron plates, which uses wire and iron plates to make reinforce. So that cuts out the need for rods and screws, right? Whereas this one doubles down on using more screws and more plates to give you a higher volume. And then we have iron wire, which just uses iron to get wire. Quite nice. But don't think I need that. I think stitched iron plates is the way to go. Definitely makes things a lot easier. Especially since a bunch of copper deposits are very close to iron deposits in this region. So we'll definitely make use of that, I think. Alright, let's get rid of this. Alright, back to this. So, like I said, we've set both of these now to 135 each. And we'll get up and do the coal one in a moment. That's supposed to be set to 270, but I don't think there's any way I can do that. I don't think so. So what we'll do is we'll just grab a wall from here, bring it all the way down. And then I'm also going to get the... Bring it down. It's reversed. These will need to be marked. Не палатки устранены. Торпеды справа по борту. And just get some pipes here so we can just feed these in nicely. Bring out our belt. We'll start to rotate it so we get a, a nice. Дыма генератор запущен. We'll bring that back as far as it goes. Have to get out of the way of the machine. There we go. Let's speed this straight in to its own buddy. This one should go pretty much straight in. Maybe we could still angle like so. Just make it look a little cleaner. All right, so we're going straight up to that floor, which is where the foundries are going to go. I think I need... I don't have a way to get it back down there. Yet, so I'm going to create the um, stairwell right now. So if you followed my series before, or if you've seen any previous videos, what I normally do is we carve out a room that is three by three. Не палатки устранены. So, we put a door on the center, so that's our little 3x3 three three room. Come in, and then on the left, we'll have two stairs that meet up. And we just basically do this in sets of two. Oh man, this is always so finicky. Alright, we'll just do that, and I can attach onto it. <laughs> two, there we go. Just satisfactory things. There we go, that one worked. Alright, get rid of that one. So, up to two, and then we'll just do it across. Build the catwalk across to there, to there. And then I just keep doing this with lots of two until we get to the floor up there. All right, there we go. Stairs just like that. So we've got stairs that lead all the way up to the top now. This is our little bridge that will take us across into this room. And this is where our iron is now coming in. So let's sort out the coal next. I'll actually have to maybe move some of these bushes out of the way now. So we'll break out the chainsaw. Right. That's the bushes cleared. We've got a nice open floor for us now.